What is going on guys? So this marks the third video since my return and we are not gonna stop. Anyways, I just wanna say that I appreciate every single one of you guys who watch my videos. Even the 64% of you guys that are unfortunately not subscribed. So if you guys do enjoy my videos and you find yourself coming back here all the time, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also hit that bell so you guys don't miss out on a single video. And also one last thing before we get into the video. If you guys do want to support me further, you can go to the item shop and use code Beaks in the item shop. I heard a rumor somewhere that if you use code Beaks in the item shop, it will actually double your gains. So if you guys remember in my previous video, I said that control movement is no more. But apparently, according to a few comments in the video, you guys said that I can actually somehow get a form of controller movement again. So let's see if this thing works. I have honestly no clue if this is gonna work. So the first comment we're gonna look at is from Illusion Sucks, and he says, just uncheck read only on game user settings and change the setting, then recheck read only. All right, so I'm now in my game user settings, and he says to uncheck read only right here, apply, I guess, hit okay. So I guess we look for a setting now that does mouse input lock, which is a setting that's broken right now in Fortnite for a uh, controller movement. So I see mouse acceleration. That's a good thing that it's untrue. I really do not want to have that. So we're going to see if this works or not. Um, If it does, everybody should go subscribe to that guy, but let's see if it works. All right, so I just turned my control movement back on and we're going to see if this works. Hopefully it works. Let's see. Oh no. I was kind of hoping that it was going to work, but unfortunately it does not work. This, I mean, I'll show you guys what happens if I build. So this happens when I build and um, I'm even like losing frames too. Like you can see like everything's just like spazzing out. Like everything is kind of switching between the inputs. The inputs are getting smashed together. All right, so hopefully these next comments can help me out. Let's see what they got. So the next comment we're gonna look at is from Flo uh nice Atashi profile picture, bro. <laughs> and he says, well, since you've not played in a while, there's something called double movement binds. So in regards to double movement binds, I have made multiple videos about it. I actually made a few videos where I combine the inputs of controller and keyboard movement binds to give you even crazier movement on a controller with controller movements. Um, I'll play a few clips. You guys have probably seen this. Just in case you guys forgot, I did try it. I'm aware of double movement binds. Um, they're a lot better than single movement binds in my opinion, of course. But in order to get double movement binds right now, I'm gonna have to change a few settings in my keyboard software. So if that's the case, then I'll do it. Let's see what happens. So the next comment, and I saw multiple ones of this one, is from this dude named GameBot, and he says, dude, there's a fix. Watch Parley Cloudy, he has a video on how to fix it. All right, so let's go check out Parley Cloudy. Let's see what he's got. All right, so let's search up Parley Cloudy. Let's do that. Okay, um, it looks like it's a Pixar film. Let's try Fortnite. Yes, I'm Parley Cloudy, okay. Fix Azron joystick problem in newest Fortnite update. Triple movement binds, let's check this out. All right, let's check out Parley Cloudy's video. All right, so, oh my God. This dude just cracked on the Azeron, what the heck? Okay, so I just checked out his video and he actually found out something extremely, extremely smart that I had no idea about. So what he did is it looks like he binded multiple keybinds to the left and the right part of the Azeron joystick. And I had absolutely no clue that you could do that. Everybody go subscribe to this man. I'll leave a link to his channel down below in the description. I seriously think that he found a way to get control movement again, like some sort of form of it on my Azeron again. So I'm looking forward to trying that out and let's see what happens. You can double bind these movements if when you like press two keys at the same time. So let's try that. So, so I press A, oh, so D plus L. Okay. All right, so let's see if this thing works. I'm kind of curious. Okay, so I go forward. Now if I move my joystick left. Oh, that is definitely double movement right there. This is definitely better than keyboard movement. I'm running not completely sideways, but it feels really weird because I'm so used to using my joystick, like curving all the way to the right and left. So I start walking. This looks like double. Yeah, this is definitely double movement. Oh, oh yeah, look. Oh my gosh, look at my side jumps. Oh yeah, just like the way I'm running right now. This feels so much better than having the single movements. This is actually ridiculous. Like, uh, yeah, oh my gosh, everything's like so much easier. Okay, let's do it. Let's go, boys. We're back in business. Yeah, this is crazy. Oh my gosh. So there's one more thing in Claudia's video that I want to try out, and he said that they were um, triple movement binds. So we are going to give that a try, and I'm kind of curious to see how that's going to work or not. So now, since I have move left as two binds A and K, and move right as two binds D and L, I need to create another bind for my move forward, which is W. So I'm going to do... So let's just do... Uh, let's do O. Okay. So now my Azron software, I'm going to do A, K, O and D L O very interesting. Okay. 
Let's see if I like this one or not. These are triple movement binds. Oh boy, this is crazy. Oh wow, this is so much better. Yo, Cloudy, you are an absolute genius, man. Okay, this is this is actually like amazing. Now I feel a lot more comfortable doing side jumps because I was stopping my movements left and right. Oh yeah, I can already see the improvement right now. I'm so much more, but the thing we gotta do now is we should get into some games. Go see how I do against kids in public matches and see if I can even, uh, I need to test out this new setting and see how we do on it. I'm kind of curious. Also guys, be sure to go follow me on Instagram and Twitter for notifications on. I'm planning on doing a custom match against you guys very soon. And if you guys want to be a part of that, be sure to go follow those. Turn on notifications. I cannot wait to do customs for you guys. I've had so many requests to do custom matches. I still have so many locations on this map that I have not discovered yet. We will go to those if I die. It'd be pretty cool if I got to win the first round. We'll see what happens though. Oh boy, there's a lot of people here and I have a bad landing. All right, let's go. Let's go to a location that I have not been to yet. Got a power plant over here. Is anybody coming here with me? We got one guy coming here with me. Dude, so many uh, shotguns. All right, where's the loot at? Where's the loot at here? I want to find this guy before he sees me. Where would he be? Oh, there he is. All right, we're gonna head out of here. I'm gonna take this road over here. There's a slurp truck. I can go break that. I'm gonna farm some trees up. I don't see anybody. I keep hearing these like explosions in the distance. I really don't know what they are and they're kind of freaking me out, but I think it's part of the new map with like the water rising. I'm really not sure to be honest. If somebody can comment down below and explain to me what these explosions are in the distance, I would greatly appreciate it. I have absolutely no clue what they are. We got a little build fight going on right here. Is anybody here? Is he farming? Let's see if you can sneak around. Where'd he go? Where did he go? My man straight vanished. They're fighting. Come on, I'm gonna get in there. Come on, I'm about to I'm about to grenade them. Oh, I hit one. For a whole lot. Come on, I need shots to connect right now. He's one health one oh, I'm getting surrounded right now I got guys all around me Another one. No. He's got to rotate. On him. One more shot. Boom, 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 boom. Yes, let's go. He can't launch pad away from me. Where'd that kid die? He died down here, right? I'm so confused out here. Oh my god, he's choked out too. Let's go, dude. We're on a roll. Let's go. This is actually a good game right now. Hopefully, I can clutch up, get the win. I'm kind of sad on a launch pad though. I couldn't get that guy's loot who I shot out of the sky. Hmm. <laughs> All right, looking good, boys. Looking good. What is this thing, guys? This is my first. This is one of the first sharks I've seen. Oh my god, I think it's so much health. It is terrifying. It's a 1v1 situation, boys. What's gonna go on? Am I gonna die? Am I gonna get my first Fortnite win on this channel in forever? I do not know. I really wanna clutch up and get this win for you guys. 
Hopefully the last guy is not super sweat. We'll see what happens though. Doing this for the boys. He's over there. Nice. You revealed your location. Ouch. Oh no, he's high ground. Oh no, he's actually gonna kill me. Where'd he go? He fell down pretty far. Let's go! Let's go, boys. Dude, my heart is racing right now. That was, oh. That's my first Fortnite win in forever. Like a solo win for you guys. Oh man. It's just a win, but like, it's been a while. It's really been a while. Oh man. Let's go. Let's go. Getting better. Getting better. I'm rusty, but we're doing good.